Mahatma Gandhi. The quote is, the earth provides enough to satisfy every man's need, but not every man's need. This means that nature is the all we need to live, like food, water and shelter. However, when we become greedy and take more than we need, we harm the environment. Overusing resources leads to problems like deforestation and pollution. We must be careful and use resources wisely. By doing so, we ensure a healthy planet for everyone now and in the future. Thank you. We are the summers are water and where our planet suffers. Clean the life for those. I see your point. But can we do together? We can do a lot. We can raise our voices, write letters, and start petitions, and agitate others. If we all stand together, we can make a huge difference. Remember, how we protest to save our school library? We did it then. We can do it now. You are right. I remember how powerful that was. I never realized trees mean so much. They are not just good and weak. They are light. They are fast. Exactly. Each tree is a silent guardian, giving us so much and asking for nothing in return. Imagine how lonely our school would be without them. It's not just about us, it's about the future generations too. They deserve to experience the beauty of nature. Okay, I'll mean, let's do whatever it takes to save these trees. I don't want to imagine our school without them. That is the record. Together we can make our voices hard. Let's start by organizing a meeting with our friends and planning our next steps. Yes, let's do it for the trees, for us and for the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Guru Ashu. So here we just heard the fictional landscape and in the form of a story that how trees are being cut. In the premises of Mata Rukhini Gai Avyasi Secondary School, and how my students, Guru and Priyanshu, are very much curious and very much abruptly knowing the situation if we are not, if we are not available to us in the premises, how it is going to affect our health, our biodiversity of our school. So, my next student is coming for a story narration and in Hindi. Jashan Preet Kaur. Namaskar, my name is Jashan Preet Kaur. I am a Chinese program. Our camp of the summer, Prakriti ke Sundras, me, our kids have a great job in Kahani ke Maathir se Prasun Sreda Jati. Kahani ka Sreshif hai, to Eche ka Rehat hai. एक बार की बात है एक छोटे से गांव में एक सुंदर बगीचा था बगीचे हरे भरे पौधे और रंग बिरंगे फूलों से भरा हुआ था गांव वालों ने इस बगीचे को बहुत प्यार से समझाया था और वे यहाँ रोजाना काम करते थे गांव के एक कोने में एक बूढ़े किसान बाबा राम रहते थे वे अक्सर गाँव वालों से कहते थे की बगीचे का खास रहस्य छुपा हुआ है लेकिन किसी को भी इसके बारे में जानने की उत्सुकता नहीं थी एक दिन गांव में एक भीषण तूफान आया हवा इतनी तेज थी कि पौधे और पेड़ और पौधे झूलने लगे तूफान के बाद बगीचे की हालत बहुत खराब हो गई पेड़ और पौधे जल से उखल गए थे और फूलों का रंग मुझा गया था गाँव वाले ने बगीचे को ठीक करने का प्रयास किया लेकिन उन्हें लग रहा था कि बगीचा आता है जैसा कभी नहीं हो पाएगा तब तो बाबा राहू ने गाँव वालों को बताया कि बगीचे का रहस्य उसकी अपनी शक्ति में छुपा हुआ है उन्होंने गाँव वालों से कहा जब भी तुम्हारे पास अधिक पानी या खाद हो उसे बगीचे में डाल दो और धैर्य रखो गाँव वालों ने बाबा की बात मानते हुए बगीचे की मरम्मत शुरू की फिर बगीचे में नियमित रूप से पानी और खाद डालने लगे और साथ ही इसे अच्छे से सजाने लगे और धीरे धीरे बगीचा फिर से हरा भरा और रंग बिरंगा हो गया फूल फिर से खिलने लगे और फल भी दिखे हो गए 
सावधानों ने सीखा कि बगीचे में रहते हैं उसकी देखभाल और प्यार में था जब उन्होंने बगीचे को सही तरीके से समझाया तब उनकी अपनी खूबसूरती सामने आई इस कहानी से हमें यह सीख मिलती है कि प्रकृति का ख्याल रखना और उसे प्यार देना ही उसकी असली शक्ति और सुंदरता को उजागर करता है जैसे बगीचे की सुंदरता उसकी Now, dear students, it is time to update our knowledge with the whereabouts of our surroundings. So I invite Ms. Aakha to present headlines of today. Good morning, my name is Aakha. I am going to present some important headlines of today. I shall start with the national news. Haryana youth kids on the shower for India and Wales confirmed that border limited. International news. Board of Fender for South China seek critical for peace, says Shankar. Fourth news, dominant India face Sri Lanka as eight women Asia Cup. Thank you. Now, Ashri and Arvind are coming to present wonderful and interesting facts on Sundarbans. Good morning to the principal man. Teacher and dear friend, I am Arya and Ashmi. Now we are going to present some vulnerable facts about native specifically only Sundarbans in India. First of all, the Sundarbans is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its unique ecosystem and biodiversity. The Sundarbans is the largest known as forest in the world. It represents across India and Bangladesh. It is interesting to note the river network. The Sundarban is crossed by a complex network of rivers, tidal waterways, and rivers on islands, making it a unique and beautiful landscape. Ariel, do you know Sundarban is home to lower the Gulf Tiger? It is famous for being habitat of its tiger and known for their swimming ability. Ashmi, let me add Sundarban is crucial for fish. The water of the Sundarban are very unique, providing the livelihood for many local fishermen. Biodiversity for the Sundarban is rich in biodiversity. It is home to numerous of plants, animals, and birds, including star, water, dolphins, and various types of fish. Carbon fuel. The mangrove forest of the Sundarban play a crucial role in absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, helping to mitigate climate change. Natural barrier. The tidal tree in the Sundarban act as a natural barrier against the coastal erosion for tapping in that area. To conclude, we can say that this fact highlights the importance of the Sundarban and the need to conserve such vital ecosystem. Thank you. I wish you the last chance of class 11. Thank you on the behalf of my students who presented their assembly today on the theme One Nature Conservation Day, which is observed annually on July 28, to raise awareness about the importance of conserving our natural resources and protecting the environment. This day serves as a reminder of our collective responsibility to safeguard the planet's ecosystem, wildlife, and natural habitats. It is very important and crucial to understand that it is not an individual responsibility, it is a collective responsibility. As nature provides us essential resources such as clean air, water, fertile soil, which are crucial for human survival and well being of individuals as well as the planet Earth. However, the growing threats of pollution, deforestation, climate change, habitat destruction, these are all going to endanger the resources. Once Nature Conservation Day highlights the need for sustainable practices and emphasizes the role of every individual, community and nation in preserving the environment. On this day, various activities are organized including educational programs, tree planting drives, clean-up campaigns and public awareness campaigns. 
these efforts aim to encourage people to adopt eco-friendly habits, support con conservation projects, and advocate for policies that promote environmental protection. By celebrating World Nature Conservation Day, we recognize the intrinsic value of nature and coming to ensuring that future generations can enjoy a healthy and vibrant planet. And I am much pleased to share with all of you, especially respected principal now, that students of Class 11 are going to organize a plantation drive tomorrow. They shall be sowing some plants here in the school. Thank you very much.